Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing fantastic. And today we got another subscription box from Tack Pack. That's right, a tactical pack. Tacky pack, hacky sack, crack still whack. But before we get into it, you know how I do around here. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Don't be a stranger around here, man. Come on back, man. Be involved in our little community here, man. It's great. It's great. A lot of great people. All right, so Tack Pack, are you guys ready? We're going to get into it right now. All right, so we are back with Tack Pack. A tack, a pack, a tactical pack of tactical goodness, right? Delivered to you every single month for a varying price, depending upon which Tack Pack you choose. They got a light version, they got a standard, and they got a plus. So you got some choices, you know, you got some options. You know, we like options around here. Nothing wrong with that. And, as always, if you do want to, you know, meander over there and check them out while you're on the toilet, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video if you want to head on over there and check them out. And like I said, I don't have no links because, you know, all these videos I do, or I don't have a code, how about that? All these videos I do, you think some of these companies would reach out to me. But here we are. We're struggling. Alright, so this is what the box looks like. Got, got, got some goodies up in there. This looks like it might be a good one. Right here on top, man, we have got a back end. We got some furniture, yo. And you know what's funny is I was thinking about trading out, but I was going to do I was going to do Magpul. Okay, so it's for a mil spec buffer tube. Okay, M lock. Okay, wow, man, I can. Ooh, except I need a black one uh, for my Daniel defense. So yeah, if you guys been watching my video, you know what I'm talking about. I may, well, I don't know. This is going to be too much of a different color. Mm, man, that sucks. All right. So, this is some back end furniture. You know, if you got your AR platform. Uh, from who? From Bantam. Support your passion, yo. Made in the US of A. Uh, says here this is for users demanding an ultra compact, lightweight, no BS butt stock. The Bantam's no frills, aggressive design provides a functional cheek weld. And see, that's my. That's my main gripe about DD's uh, furniture. You know, it's got that almost like a rubberized, you know, part of it. And you put it up against your cheek, especially me having all this facial hair, man. It likes to grab onto your to your beard hair, man. I don't like that. So yeah. All right. So we got that. So you know, hey, if you were, you know, did have your platform and you wanted to maybe try out something different, you you got this here. So that's that's really really good. Let me see if I can dig through here real quick and find a card. One day I'm gonna open this thing from the bottom. I always forget. And then when I, you know, when I've already opened the box, then I'm like, oh yeah, I need to open it from the bottom. Okay, this is October for Tack Pack, so we're called up. Okay, and you can see the card does have Tack Pack Plus wrote on there. Hopefully that might focus. If you want to read any of that, we'll go over some of it if 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 needed. You know, if if we need to. Okay, what we got here? We got a Cap Cap Plus. Okay, so this is going to be, I'm assuming, for a water bottle that is in here, or maybe not. Possibly. This one's missing a, a, a top, so I'm assuming that this is the top, I hope. Is it the same company? Yes, Human Gear. Okay, Human Gear. Alright, so, let's start a trash pile down here. Okay, we got the Civilized Dual Cap Insulated Bottle. Okay, what's so good about it? Come on, give me the flim flam. Double wall vacuum insulated stops bottle sweat, uh, small cap, and smooth spout for splash free drinking. Okay, well, let's tell me about this. So, okay, so obviously, this is just a double vacuum, double vacuum, uh, what did I say? Vacuum insulated. Yeah. All right, so there you go. How, how much? And it says it's BPA free, it's 18 8 stainless steel. What's the capacity? 20 ounce. So you got 20 ounce of volume there. You know, we got this cool cap that, you know, let's see. Okay, wow, that is a big mouth to drink out of. So we don't have nothing else going on. Let's see, we do have a gasket up in there, though. I like I like seeing that. That's kind of cool, and it's already got a little ring on there, so you can attach it to your gear. Uh-oh, wait, what, what is going on here? 
Why does this why does this spin? Why does this spin? Rubber bottle rubber bottle base prevents dents. Tapered form is cup holder friendly. Okay, I like that. So it is tapered so it'll get go in your car. That's nice, but why what, what's the purpose of having the, the bottom spin? Like what's what's the this little bottom this little bottom end here? Well, I mean, how does that prevent dents? I mean Okay, well it's just got a big rubber piece on the bottom. Okay, which is fine. All right, cool. So your your spout, you know, there's no other like sipper or nothing like that. It's just a big honking Man, you can take big size, big king size gulps of that. And it looks like there might be a gasket. Yeah, there's a gasket in there too. So we got some really good seals going on. Okay, cool. It's a water bottle. I got like 10 of them up there. Okay, so there we go. And then, oh man, okay. Oh, but man, these colors are not going to match. FAB defense. Man. Oh, but this is this that's that's Pentiki right there, bro. That's Pentiki. Yeah, give me a M lock mount lid. Oh no, 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 no. Come back. Don't do that. Don't be that person. Alright. Alright. So we got a bipod that will not work on my new platform, but you know what it will work on? It will work on my old platform. Let's see. We got a coupon code here. Okay. So it says spike bipod. Let's see. Oh, I like that. So we got some good adjustability going on there. Very cool. Okay, it's got some grippy, grippy tight feet on it, which you need. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so you just press these down like this to deploy. Alright. Okay. Oh, that's that's interesting. That's okay. That's interesting. So, okay. This is fancy. I don't, I don't, mine ain't fancy like this. Got all that kind of crap. So, your mount floats. You can tighten it down, obviously, but you know, you know, you can get it really dialed in to wherever you are, and you can then get the rifle level, and then you can just go in here and tighten this down, and, and there you go. Technically, you could do the same thing by deploying one leg or the other. But, I mean, if you're seriously fine-tuning that bad boy, yeah, there you go. All right, so that's that. All right. Only problem is this color is not going to match. But it is nice that this kind of sort of not really matches the buttstock that we got. It's kind of a topish color, and it's a little bit different. But that's okay. So if you needed a bipod <laughs> and a buttstock... They they got you covered here, so that's 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 pretty cool. Okay, I like that. Uh, let's see. See mine, especially on my 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 bigger my bigger platform, man. It's got a. Uh, I got spikes, you know, on mine, you know that I can, you know, when I'm setting my platform up, I can push it and really get it to really get good purchase. I, I just I really like that. Uh, let's see on the side of the legs. So you press this. Right, and somehow it deploys. It says it's got spikes, but boy, that's man, you gotta god dang. Okay, I don't know. I'll have to mess with this. It says that you can deploy the spikes by pushing on that. Okay, front locking clip. So I'm assuming these here are obviously interchangeable, so the feet you can change the feet out. Okay. And they give you a, they give you a wrench to put it on your on whatever rail on, on your rail system that you got. Okay, so that, that's that's not too shabby, man. That's pretty cool. See, Tag Pack be sending you stuff you can actually use. I like that. They give you fifteen percent off a little coupon here for uh, if you're a Tag Pack subscriber and save some money if you go to their proper website. Okay, here's a sticker. I haven't looked. There's a sticker. I got it face down. Okay, SOL rechargeable keychain utility light. Really? That's it looks kind of big though. So we got a rechargeable keychain utility light. And right, I'm gonna call Flam already because that is that's a big light, yo. 
Okay, now this got kind of like a carabiner type situation going on. Look how big that is. Uh, that's not a keychain. This is for your bag. You, you put this on your bag for real. Okay, how you turn it on though? Where's the on off button? Okay, we got a charging. We got a charging port there. We got an on off button here. Okay, I don't want to look at that thing because it's bright. Okay, so we got high. Okay. Okay. You know, the good thing about this is it, it dis it's, it's not focused, obviously, because it's like this. It's not a focus beam. So there's no magnifier. So it gives you a very, very broad illumination, which can be good. We got a low, and then we got a strobe. Okay. From the company SOL. Okay. All right. And like I said, it does have a a little charging port on, on this side that does have a little gasket type situation going on here. A little uh, USB, looks like type C on there. Okay, and they do give you a charging cable, a USB to USB-C cable, which, you know, if you get a lot of crap like this, you know, I have like 5,000 cords. I'm not going to complain because I always need them, so it's always nice having thousands of cords. Okay. So, we got the rechargeable keychain utility light from PowerTac. It is the SOL. And it is how many lumens? It is max 250. Okay, so that's 250 on that first setting, that bright setting. And then it dims down probably to maybe 175. Sounds good to me. Let's say 175. Okay, there you go. Doesn't really tell me on here how, like, how long it will last, though. It says USB charging strong magnet. Oh, it does have a magnet and a keychain, a keychain, a kickstand. So it does have a magnet right here. And it will stick. So there you go. And then it's got a little deployable kickstand that you can use it like that. You know, you can set it up. And this looks like the kickstand on my, you know, something like on my switch. And when you deploy it out, it doesn't close all the way. So that will definitely be something that will break off probably pretty quickly. But something that is interesting, it does have a screw port there for like you can you can screw something into it. And that looks like a quarter, uh, let's, let's say, that looks like quarter 20. Do I have something up here I could use to see if that's a quarter 20? Because then you could, you could screw it onto, well, not in a survival situation, but yeah, you could do other stuff with it. Okay, oh, and of course, it does have a bottle opener. Okay, right here. That's a bottle opener. Because, you know, everything's got to have a bottle opener. Let me see. Does it... uh, let's see. Okay, so... What does it say about this thing? And it's funny, it doesn't tell me what, like, how long it'll run... It says it's a 500 milliamp hour built-in little battery. It has a high, medium, low. Okay, the output on high is 250. Medium is 150. Low is 80. Strobe is 60. I was close. I said 175. All right, we spent, enough, we spent way more than enough time on this little weirdo light. Okay, so you guys tell me in the comment section down below, you got a need for something like this? You know, I mean, definitely, you know, in absence of no light, you know, having that would be definitely something, be a good thing, right? Okay, looks like we got us a little auto fit handgun case. How is it an auto fit? It means that you just open it up and stick the gun in there and it fits? Because that kind of seems, is that what I would call auto fit? I don't know if I'd call that auto fit. I got a 44 Magnum that will not fit in here. All right, so there you go. We got a little gun case. Uh, yeah, ooh, ah, the gun case. You know, and we got a zipper pouch out here on this side that doesn't have like mag holders or nothing. It's just a pocket, a weirdo pocket. And we got a hook, a little ring here, and then we got a little loop here on this side. And that's it. Very heavy canvas. You know, there you go. Uh, let's see, is it say anything? I mean, it says fits most compact and revolver up to nine inch. Thick foam padding, soft knit interior lining, and muzzle sleeve storage pocket for accessories and spare magazines. It is lockable. It is lockable. How do you lock it? 
Big boy. Big boy. My dog just... What are you doing? Come here. Don't, don't start barking now. Alright. So, Uh-oh. Now I got a big dog. Now I got a big dog coming here. Alright. Let's put all this trash over here. Because these dogs got no chill. Come on. Don't grin at me. Don't you start grinning at me, you old bad puppy dog. See, Daddy, that's a good dog. Alright, so we got a sticker here. Uh, let's see. Let me put the sticker up on this. So I can't see it. Well, now you guys really can't see it. Oh, I can't put it on something white. Let's see. I'm not going to look. Alright, this is the outline of the sticker. Dude's got a very... Very not human head, so I'm gonna say he's got a helmet on. I'm gonna say it's the Mandalorian. That's my guess. Holy crap, I was totally wrong. Oh. Alright. Everybody knows who that is. Yeah, I was way off. Alright, so this is a sticker. Very cool. It will definitely go up here. I think I got one or two more stickers I need to put up here. So, yeah. So, Hank. Hank will get a, and it's funny because he's holding a beer too in his other hand. Because you know it wouldn't be Hank without you know having a beer in his hand. So there you go. All right, so that will be one that we'll add to our sticker wall here of goodness. Okay, do we need to really talk about any of this stuff in greater detail? I mean, buttstock, tripod, or bipod. I mean, uh, water bottle, little light, gun bag. I don't really think we need to. I don't think we need to really talk about anything. Well, let's just talk about the plus item because the plus item is, is was going to make this one, you know, so expensive. The plus item for this was the uh, the bipod. One hundred and fifty five. Whoa! One fifty five on the bipod, bro. All righty then. All righty then. And it's funny because, you know, they can't use proper names, I guess. So the sticker is called the Propane Salesman sticker. That's funny. All right. So I'm not going to read any of this stuff because I don't think I really need to. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, the, the PowerTac Mini Cube Light, though. The PowerTac Mini Cube Light. Okay, they call it the Mini Cube Light. They call it the SOL Rechargeable Light. Okay, it says here it'll the flashlight can run for about an hour. Or two hours on 60% mode and three and a half hours on 30% mode. So there you go. That's how much illumination you will be getting out of that little guy. And makes sense because it's a very small battery. All right, so now if that's it for this tight pack, if you are out, please, please give me a thumbs up for the video. I really greatly appreciate you on that. Uh, I didn't really crack no jokes. I didn't make nobody laugh, so I'm sorry. If you don't want to give me a thumbs up, that's cool. I totally understand. Not mad at you. Kind of tired. Kind of tired. But we are going to talk about some other stuff. Okay, so if you're out, peace on out, bro. I will see you guys in the next one, man, for real. Maybe I'll be here with more jokes. Maybe. Maybe not. All right. So, our winner of our prior giveaway has not gotten in contact with me yet. So, I'm hoping that that person sees the video real soon so I can get that stuff out of here uh, because I do have several pieces already picked out for the next giveaway. So we're going to be rolling into the next giveaway uh, very, very soon. So I did have a viewer of the channel, a friend of the channel, 556 Media, and when I showed my Daniel Defense, my new platform, uh, I showed my old platform, well, you know, oldie but goodie. And, you know, I didn't know where my optic went. And he took it upon himself. He's such a, he's such a good guy. He sent me a set of Magpul Inbus front and rear sights. Uh, so I did get them. And here they are. And, dude, I, you know, again, you know, I really, I really greatly appreciate it. Uh, you know, of course, you know, people, uh, generosity, uh, you know, knows no end and i'm very grateful for stuff like this when somebody you know sends me something i, I really do greatly appreciate it it is you know i can't say anything else 
you know, I just, I, I'm very, very thankful. And, you know, it's nice. It's really nice to, you know, for me to get something. You know, I really greatly, greatly appreciate you. So 556 Media, thank you for sending me these sites. They will definitely, definitely go to use. And I greatly appreciate it, so thank you. Okay, now I have been going on a little journey here. So I got me some, some books. But I guess before I get into that, let me show you guys something that you might be interested in. This box here contains what's going to be going on my new platform. Dum 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 dum. Now everybody knows what that is. So I'm going to tell you what I got. Um, I did not go with a um, uh, a three and a half by thirty five. I went with a, what is it, a 4, it's a 4x32. Four so this is a Trijicon ACOG, this is the 4x32 variant uh, with Trijicon's, uh, Trijicon's RMR. Uh, so yeah, so this is what is going to be going on my new platform. Absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, I went with the, the red Chevron, uh, kind of wish... Kind of wish I would have went with a green Chevron, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to wait until I get on the tack range and start running around with it to see if I made a mistake by not getting the green Chevron. I didn't want to, I didn't want to cross here. I, I wanted the Chevron. So I went with red, you know, because it's easy to pick up the red for me anyway, you know, over the green. But I do like the green. So this has a red chevron, and then of course the the red dot. So this is what is going to be going on my new platform. I don't know if I'm going to run backups on it yet. I really don't know. I probably won't. I might. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on what the mood is. Okay. So I got me. I picked up this book by Mary Jones. Uh, can't wait to get into it and do some digging around it is for herbal antibiotics um, this book came you know really highly recommended and uh, you know a lot of people that wrote reviews on it said it's a really good book and you know just giving it cursory glance it seems like it does have a ton a ton of really good information so uh you know can't wait to kind of dive into that and do some poking around and adding this to my collection of books, which is getting pretty, pretty stout, pretty robust. Then a book that I highly recommend myself if you don't already have this particular book, um, uh, Nicole Appelin. I don't know how to say this name, and she's a PhD, but this is The Holistic Guide to Wellness. This is a really, really good book. If, if you don't have any familiarity with this particular book, uh, you should. You know, it, it's it's full of, and the way I like this book of how it is set up is it has all the different elements and stuff in here that you can go right to. For example, it has things in here for lupus, autoimmune protocol, multiple sclerosis, psoriasis, and eczema, rheumatoid arthritis, and one that I am really interested in to get to first is GERD and acid reflux protocol because I suffer from GERD. I've had it ever since I was 20. I started having surgeries on my my guts and everything when I was 20 years, 20 years old. I am uh, reliant on medication that I would really love to wean myself off of. And yeah, so I'm curious to see what all this stuff has to say about that. You know, and it also has, you know, inflammation, uh, inflammatory bowel disease stuff. So that would cover, uh, you know, irritable bowel, Crohn's, stuff like that. Ulcerative colitis, maybe. Yeah, ulcerative colitis. So it also has leaky gut, IBS protocol. Yeah, liver health, ulcer, diabetes, uh, thyroid, bacterial infection, flu, viral immune system stuff, fungal infections, Lyme disease, anxiety and stress, brain and nerve depression, Parkinson's, vertigo, menop menopause, uh, men's, uh, <clears throat> men's sexual health, 
women's sexual health. Asthma. So, yeah, you get it. This, this is a book jam-packed full of stuff, okay? So, I'm very excited to get this. I'm definitely going to be going to this a lot. Hopefully, uh, I will have some good luck with it. And then I picked up uh, this laminated kind of quick reference guide for herbs and and the medicines and, and you know what um, you know properties uh, any types of plants or herbs you know have you know on you know or in the treatment of you know whatever kind of things that they work on so this is really cool because it is laminated which you know I could have got something like this and just laminated it myself at work because we have a laminating machine but but I like it because it was already had everything kind of laid out in a way that is easily accessible so this is something else going into my little stash of information. Okay, then I picked up this book because I have several of these, these Bofang. So I wanted to get a really good radio guide, uh, you know, and, you know, obvious, you can go to YouTube and there's plenty, plenty of guys that do videos on using these these radios and stuff and everything and this is supposedly is a 2024 edition so i don't know if that just means that they printed 2024 edition or if there's actually updated hopefully it means that there's updated information in here uh so it's kind of somewhat current and at least when i looked at buying this the reviews on it were really good saying that this this was a really good little book to kind of get you you know, really into using your Bofang radio and understanding a lot of stuff. So that springboarded me. This, this doing research for this springboarded me into this. I got this ham radio license manual because this is something I do want to get into and I wanted to make sure that I had, you know, really good information and because I would like to take the uh, ham license uh, test to get a, a license so this is a license manual and it says everything you need to get your first ham radio license so i got that and then i followed it up with this the general class license manual for ham radio and it says all you need to pass your general class exam and it's a study guide and it has uh, question and answers so you know you can like practice mock test things and then I bundled this stuff together and it came with this, this tech Q&A, and it says this is the quick and easy path to your first ham radio license. And it says includes the latest question pool with answers for use of July 1st, 2022 through July 30th, 2026. And it says brief, clear explanations for all answers. So this is more of just a straight up, like, hey, these are possible questions, uh, you know, the question pool, and then it has the answers. So, you know, it has a lot of that stuff. So, yeah, because I do want to, you know, n never stop learning. You know, I, you know, I constantly want to want to be expanding my horizons, you know, because I do have, you know, I do have the Bofang radio. Let's see. Where are they? I don't know where they are. I think they're over there somewhere. I move stuff around too much. I'm getting too old, man. I'm getting too old to be moving stuff around constantly. Okay. All right, so what else is going on? Is that it? Yeah, I got stuff picked out for the next giveaway. So that will be that. And you know, it's crazy because I always forget to say something in these videos. Man. Okay, so when we were at Bucky's, and I know you guys can probably see that, uh, my wife got this for me. It's this little metal sign that says Papa Bear's Place. It's got a picture of a little bear on it right there. I really like that because technically I am a papa bear and I love bears. So there you go. So I put that up there and I was going to put it in our RV, but I don't think there's going to be room because my wife has bought tons and tons of stuff to decorate the inside of our RV, you know, to make it, make it uh, a second home. So yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's all the rambling. I'm going to do in this particular video. And I guess I'm going to let you guys go for real, for real, I guess. Maybe. Oh, speaking of men and women's sexual health, you know, if you stayed this long, I'm going to give you guys something that might make you laugh. Okay, so buckle up. I'm going to try to make you laugh real quick. 
whenever you start a YouTube channel and you upload as many videos as I have, you know, companies start reaching out to you, wanting to, and it's mostly stuff from China. Hey, man, you know, we come across your YouTube channel, and man, it's so professional, and that's how I know they're full of crap, because they say, oh, man, your videos are so professional, and, and we want to send you, you know, this, I don't know, this iPhone case, you know, to do a review, and I'm like, oh, God. So you get inundated with all these types of emails, right, of all these people that are sent out to do the, the marketing for a lot of these products and stuff, and they try to rope in YouTubers for the exposure. Which is fine, but I got an interesting email from a company that said, you know, hey, we looked at your YouTube channel, and based on your audience, you know, and, and you know, the metrics for your audience, we have a product we think you'd be interested in. It was a doll. An adult doll. It came from you guys. I don't know what in the crap y'all are looking at on YouTube, but apparently this company believes that you guys who watch my channel would be interested in this. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I ain't going to sit here and lie to you. I, I looked. Because I was like, I, it piqued my interest. Because I'm like, okay, well, what, what is this? You know. So I'm scrolling and I'm looking at it and then... I, I, I show my wife, you know, because I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm laughing because I'm like, okay, this company believes that based on my viewers, you know, my, my audience, that this is what they'd be interested in. So this is your, you know, this, this is all you guys' fault. Okay, you guys had got me looking at some, at some, at some adult dolls, you know. But I'm going to tell you something, man, them things are expensive, bro. Like a thousand bucks. Man. So the party don't stop, man. That's all I'm saying, you know. You start doing YouTube, man, you going you going man, it's a it's a very strange place to start doing this, you know. The stuff that stuff like that, you know, just this weirdo crap that you know, you get involved with, you know, it's just crazy. Okay, now don't nobody be a smart aleck and go in the comment section and say, "Well, what, what, you know, did, are you going to get one?" No, I'm not going to get one. Okay? So don't don't even go there. According, according to analytics, you know, they say you, you want them, not me, you. <sighs> you bunch of dirty birds, man, I tell you what. All right. That's it, I'm out of here. Uh, let's see, tomorrow I'm doing a, a RC race, so I'm not going to be putting up content. I'm going to try to maybe knock another video out and uh, so I can have, get back on kind of trying to get a, you know more content out, uh, but I'll but the race I'm doing tomorrow is going to be all day, you know, or all, all evening because, you know, it's going to be after I get off work. And I thought about filming it, but I think I might film it just, you know, once so you guys can just see, like, the facility that I race at. And I can show you guys, you know, my stuff and, you know, show you how kind of how I get down. So I may do that. And, you know, that's going to be one of the videos I put up. You know, if people watch it, they watch it. They don't, they don't. So, but, yeah, I may do that. All right, I've rambled enough. I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay cool. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.